everybody, Artosis here, bringing you some more Caster Muse Star League Season 4. This is the round of eight, and it is a best of five between two of the best Protosses in the world. We have in the bottom right of Shakura's Temple, Best. And in the top left, we have Snow. This should be an excellent match. Uh, both these guys really badasses as far as Protoss versus Protoss goes. The fact that it's a best of five, of course, is always amazing. And yeah, I'm not really sure who's who's favored right now. Because I think it, previously my opinion was that Snow uh, was the best Protoss in the world. I think he was for a good portion of time. Just really such a killer. But more recently, I've been feeling best, to be honest. I think he has played just phenomenally for the last several months. And uh, yeah, I just... He, I guess I might lean just slightly towards best, but Snow is known for having really dynamite Protoss versus Protoss. Uh, so I guess we'll just see how it goes. Now, Shakuris Temple. Uh, this is a map with a lot of bases around the edge. Now, will that come into play Protoss versus Protoss? I don't think so. The, the amount of bases I don't think is going to change all that much. But I think control of the center could be very, very powerful. And of course... Reaver drops, as always, going to be strong on this map. Uh, you know, when they start scouting, I can show little pieces of what the map looks like, but basically you're you're on very low ground at your natural, and there's ramps all over the place leading to the center, which is the highest ground. And one thing about uh, low ground versus high ground, basically range units, especially ones that shoot slow, can have a hard time fighting uphill, and this goes especially for Dragoons. Right, you're missing half of your shots. So let's watch this probe walk. See, it's going to go up this ramp, and there's a base right over here. And then it's going to go up this ramp. And this is the center of the map, the highest area in the map. So basically, uh, if someone has control of these bridges and can tell which way you're coming up, it's going to be incredibly hard for their opponent to push up into that high ground area because you're just going to be missing a lot of shots. And since it's a mirror matchup, you're going to have very similar army sizes. Right, very similar unit set. So, like, if you're trying to push up a ramp with nine dragoons against ten dragoons on the high ground, but you're missing half your shots, that's a losing proposition. So, I wonder if we're going to see uh, some heavy gateway units to try to hold these high ground spots. We shall see going forward. Of course, we do have this kind of funny thing in the middle. Twenty twenty minerals here. Uh, I don't. I don't even know why that really exists. I think that's mostly for drilling. But either way. Uh, this probe actually scouting cross map for snow, which is kind of interesting. And of course, he's going to find best first, but with the zealot on the ramp, shouldn't be able to get much info. See a zealot blocking up here for snow as well. And yeah, it looks like uh, no one gets to really scout. Best, of course, going the longer way, finding him second, but the zealot is already ready there as well. Dragoon coming out to chase that probe away. Oh, yeah, and we'll get that first hit off. And get that probe out of there. So mirrored builds at the moment. And now we just kind of wait and see where do they want to go from here, right? Do they want to go into robos and expand? Ooh, nice kill there. <laughs> the probe coming up for the little alley-ooped uh, probe kill there. And we should be seeing their next choice pretty quickly. All right, robo goes down for snow. You can see its positioning is kind of near the ramp. And that will allow him to crawl Reavers down for his defense. And Best now has the money to do the same. We'll see if he ends up doing it, though. Instead, right now, he's focusing more heavily on getting Dragoons out. Hides the cell out behind for now, at least. And he will be going for just a one gateway expansion. But you can't really tell exactly what he's doing, right? We see a little bit of poking in from Snow. But he sees basically the same things he has. Now, the Nexus goes up, and the Nexus goes up. So, they're timed out at about the same time. The big difference this game right now is that Best has made more Dragoons, right? He's been pretty nonstop on that production. Snow halted his to get his Robo up a little bit quicker. Now, he is sending his Dragoons around the map a little bit, getting a bit of scouting done, making sure there's nothing fishy nearby. Observatory on the way, whereas Best going up into three gates. So, it looks like Snow's build overall is a safer build going into the observatory just in case DTs come. Whereas, best build, if he were playing against DTs, he would instantly die. He just does not have any sort of detection. 
uh, just kind of producing Dragoons and going into three gates. So with those three gates, of course, he is going to be able to bully Snow back, right? Not that Snow's up here, but if he were with those quick three gates, he should be able to uh, kind of take over map control. Whereas Snow, even though he's going to have to sit more on the defensive, the fact that he is going for that Reaver Tech, he has the robotic support bay, uh, that should allow him to help maybe pin Best back to his base to defend against those deadly Reaver drops. And if Best tries to bludgeon his way in, of course, the Reaver can be a great defense against that as well. Now, I should point out, and I'm sure if you watch a lot of Brood War, it's something that you've heard before. Best, uh, or rather Snow, has the number one Reaver control in the world. Like, he is easily the best Reaver user, and you can really see his shuttle and Reaver play is just amazing, just immaculate. Uh, and that should be some fun to watch if he can hold off everything Best has planned for him. Now, their probe counts are pretty similar. We have some extra Dragoons coming out right now uh, for Best. We have Snow sitting here on four Dragoons. He's about to have a fifth pop out and a Zealot. And he has his first Reaver coming down the ramp. No shuttle as of yet. But we do have additional units here for Best. Let's see what he gets done. Pulling back now as the Reaver comes up. He definitely needs this Reaver to help in that defense. Here best comes. His Zealot going forward. The first Scarab comes out. Looks like it might end up dudding here. Yes, in fact, it does. He walks forward and targets down the Reaver. Gets that big Reaver kill. That is amazing for best. Now, Microing back. Look at this. Snow utilizing his probes to trap one of the Dragoons. That one will get trapped, but the other four go into town. Snow targets down the most damaged one. Bringing his probes up right now for a flank, but loses another Dragoon there. Double surround. He actually runs away from that second one, but kills an additional. The next Reaver will be popping out. We have three gates pumping Dragoons now as well. Best, of course, not taking any damage on his uh, economy. And you can see he's actually very up as far as that Dragoon count goes. Taking a look. Okay, going up to five gates, just keeping that Dragoon pressure on. The Reaver sneaking down, hitting a shot, and Best decides to pull back. So, being a little bit safe here, there's not a lot of units for Snow. And now Snow can finally start mining again. But he's down 10 workers after that, which is a huge, huge number, especially in a mirror matchup. Now the five Dragoons walking up, and looks like he wants to try to get a snipe here once again. Not the best. His Dragoons kind of got snuck behind each other. Takes a couple big Scarab hits. Microing back and killing off what he can. But I would say Snow, solid defense there. Does have some intel. See a probe over here and a pylon over here. So it does look like Best wants to take a third base. Citadel on the way, and he only has the Robo for detection at the moment, just massing up Dragoons, so he won't be going for his own Reavers, it looks like, especially considering he has the Citadel on the way. We might see him rush into Psy Storm as a kind of counter for those Reavers, but Snow is getting shuttle speed, and that's where he becomes even scarier, when his Reavers actually have that shuttle, bringing them around, and he can juggle them a little bit. That's where he gets a lot of power, so even though he's definitely behind right now, he does have a little bit more tech. We're going to see if he can make that tech work out for him. But look at those supplies, right? 20 supply advantage, including 13 probes here for best. So slightly bigger army and much bigger economy. He's going to continue to mass. Snow can't really get above the production he has right now. He's constant production off three gateways. Has a robo coming as well. Or the robo still producing as well, rather. Making some more observers here. That shuttle speed not done quite yet, but when it is done, it's going to be able to make a move with it. This Observer getting some good scouting done, but as the Observer of Snow comes out, does want to run away with it so he doesn't lose it right away. And look at this. Best does have that kind of forward position on the ramp. He wants to deny anything from coming. And actually a bit of maneuvering going on right now. This is interesting to watch how Best is moving here because his Observer actually has good vision. He can kind of see the edges of units trying to move through. Little chase onto that observer gets one shot off. Observers are very, very soft, so you definitely can get a quick kill on that if you're not careful. And there we go. Shuttle speed is done. Snow moving out with his Reavers. Now, notice that Best does have a lot of Dragoons in two different locations right now. So if he attacked down, he would actually do a pretty good job, but he doesn't know that this is out right now. Let's see what happens with this Reaver. Okay, the shuttle going in. Now, what is Best going to do here for defense? 
Uh-oh, look at this. Double Reavers being dropped off. Ooh, takes a lot of damage on that shuttle immediately. And it looks like the Scarab going to dud on that one. He's going to end up losing probably everything here. Kills off that shuttle and will get the Reaver as well. So, honestly, that didn't do very well for Snow. He is in a tough spot. But walking up the ramp right now, there's a small group of Dragoons here that he can trap. And look, he's moving to body block them with his own Dragoons and Zoth. So well done. Best just has to trade as best he can. And targeting down the as many goons as he can really get. But this was a good move here for Snow. Unfortunately for Snow, though, I think that losing those Reavers was much more valuable than the Dragoons that Best just dropped. Now, Best walking forward, he's actually getting very aggressive here. Picks off an Observer. The other one gets picked off there as well. I think maybe he accidentally targeted that himself. Kind of a weird moment there from Best. Still massing up off of his gateways. We see some High Templars as well. Zots being made. Uh, moving in now with these speed lots. Those are really going to help. They're so tanky and have higher DPS than the Dragoon. So getting on top of them now. The Reaver, a new Reaver, is out. Trying to shoot out these Scarabs. Snow not having the best Scarabs here so far today. Best now pulling back a little bit with his Dragoons. He does have that third Nexus coming up. And definitely still has some control in this game. The fact that he shut down that Reaver drop so handedly, I think, is a crucial part of this game thus far. Still a six-worker lead for Bess. He has that additional base. A DT going out on the map. He has a pretty decent spread of some pylons here to spot things as well. Now, what is Snow up to? Still producing Reavers. Getting a speed shuttle. Has that Templar Archives, so maybe he can get something done with that. Now, as far as Dark Templars go, I'm not so sure, right? The uh, Robo has only been used for best for Observers, so he does have some of those out. He's also put some cannons into two of his mineral lines, although not the main base. We do have a few units left over in here, so if a shuttle tries to come in, he might be able to pick that off. Best just mackering like a fiend. You can see his supply is starting to really shoot up right now. Yeah, but DT's coming out. Oh, a four DT drop. Look at this. This is like a StarCraft II move we're going to be seeing from Snow. Let's see what he gets done with the four DTs. Now, I guess there's a couple ways you can do this. If you pick off the Observer of your opponent in a battle, obviously you can make the DTs do a ton of work. Uh, other than that, if you drop four DTs like onto cannons, you can kill a cannon or two uh, pretty quickly with that. So maybe that's his idea. We do still have a few Dragoons left over in that main base, though. So it could be easier said than done. I am kind of excited for whatever tactic this is going to be. But the supply is so much higher for best right now. All right, here comes that shuttle. This is the exciting moment. What are we going to do, Snow? This is your chance at a comeback. The three Dragoons still waiting there. Of course, they will just target this down because they can't see those DTs. Now, the DTs getting loose. See what they hunt. They're hunting some Dragoons at the moment. This is forcing a bunch of units to come back. Uh, looks like Snow going to reinforce here with all of his ground army and attack into the third base. The DTs will get cleaned up, but a bunch of army over there. Now, a Storm goes down onto that Reaver shuttle. The Reaver dies, pulls back with the other one. See if he hits another good Storm. Yeah, on the Reaver, but Snow juggles it out. Very low health on that shuttle now. And it seems like Best just has too many units here. Still up almost 30 supply right now. The DT's finally being dealt with. Oh, there is actually still one left over, and he's not really mining from that base. Snow taking a third base during all of this as well, but the army size of Best is frightening. He also has that plus one attack that Snow does not have as of yet. He's working on his plus two as well. Huge production out of his gateways. And now he's coming out onto the map, coming after Snow's army. He's trying to chase it down right now with a mostly speedlock composition. Now the Reaver gets dropped out. Going to pick that up and run back. But don't forget, this shuttle's so low on health, it can be picked off by about four Dragoon shots right now. Now Best reorganizing his army. Looks like he's going to send it up towards 12 o'clock where that third base of Snow is at. Snow mirroring the movement with his army, but turning around as he sees Best forces. The shuttle's still flying around, seeing what it can get done. Cannon going down into the main base to help against future DT drops or anything else. And Best just looks completely solid. Uh, he has that big supply lead. He has the better upgrades right now. He has a lot of Psy Storms mixed in as well. This is mostly Archons for his opponent, and those can be helpful against the Zealots. 
But I think we have just a stronger army right now from Best as he pushes forward here. Plus two, almost done. He's going to force the issue. Here we go. Snow turning to fight. The three Archons coming up. Great Storm goes down right there onto the Dragoons. Another Storm hitting everything on the side of Snow. And Snow's army just deteriorating. I do not think there's much of a way for him to come back. But in the meantime, he does have a Reaver drop going down at the third base. Might end up getting a lot of the probes here. Oh, it takes a lot of damage there, but the attack of Best does continue forward. Look at this. Three cannons behind that wall. Really glitching the AI a little bit here. Getting a lot of free shots. The Reaver has been picked up and flown away for now. Saved from Snow. Snow continuing to mass down here. But Best Army, I don't know that this is going to be able to be denied. There's so much. Two Psy Storms here as well. Breaks through that pylon wall. Breaking through the cannons. Storming everything that comes out in GG. Best wins game number one.